Hey dude, it's Kurt for a new tutorial about Renoise uh, 3. Um, I'm actually on the beta and um, uh, this tutorial follows the first one with, where I showed you uh, a way to build a patch uh, but we didn't explore all the functionalities of uh, the new Renoise 3 sampler uh, and today I I'd like to show you something uh, I'd like to show you something special. Uh, this is the phrase editor. So uh, the phrase editor is uh, really something unique in the world of sample because you can use some tracker features, some tracker based uh, methods to uh, uh, include in, uh, in the sampler some short uh, sequences. And this is a mini sequencer a mini tracker inside the tracker and it is really unique so I'm going to show you uh, how it works so for example I've started to load a, a simple uh, wave here see and, and now the the problem is that I can still okay modulate it we will already see that last time for example I can modulate the volume can modulate the pitch, for example. Uh, but it's not the really what I want to do. I want I, I want to modify the pitch, not with the uh, with the key track or for example like that. There's no real uh, intuitive way to modify uh, the pitch with the modulation system using a kind of a, a customized LFO that would modify notes of the pitch. So it doesn't work like that. And if you want to uh, modify constantly the pitch uh, of uh, the um, the pitch of the instruments, so that you you have a sequence of different notes uh, you cannot use uh, the modulations for that uh, in the past you could use uh, an envelope based modulation with uh, points for example and uh, you could use for example some points here uh, but the problem is that the timing of the envelope is fixed so it, it won't anyway follow exactly uh, the timing of the LPB or the BPM, the track. So really uh, something had to be f found by the DF team. So now let, let's let get a look on it. Phrase editor. It's here. You click on it and you create phrase. So first of all it looks like a, it's look like a typical tracker tracker section. It's similar to the pattern editor uh, really similar and uh, for example the first note is, is C4 and uh, when when you hit this key you, you play okay so, so the problem is that I want to to build a, a short melodic line so for example I will add a few note of For example, this is very so. For example, when I start to play this little sequence, okay, I have a little sequence. So I say to myself, uh, maybe it's too uh, too slow. So I can increase the BPM for example to uh, this and when I play it it's a bit faster so uh, the good thing about this uh, phrase editor is that you can really uh, intuitively synchronize uh, your sequences, your phrases uh, to the song so there won't be any kind of problem with it so when I go back to the pattern editor I just enter a note, for example this one, and when I start the playback, oh, it's cute. So I can play with the uh, with the with the instrument, and uh, 
I will also always have a melodic line. This it, it it will be sent to the to the, to the pattern editor, and in fact the phrases here can be uh, freely uh, considered like samples by the pattern editor. So. Um, I can uh, use some uh, uh, some tricks, uh, for example. So you can say that, for example, I've decided to play this instrument uh, uh, backward with the uh, with this typical pattern command here, and uh, uh, the uh, the tracker has perfectly applied backward. Uh, the phrase you see so uh, this is interesting uh, you will be able to build very complex things with that not only sequences uh, monophonic uh, sequences but uh, you can build polyphonic sequences so uh, you can for example You can add some things, for example, like that. You see, uh, you can you can add some chords. In fact, in the uh, You can add some chords in the and when you play inside the pattern editor it's cool and uh, the the funniest thing is that you can logically make chords for example With this uh, system, uh, you can also add a lot of uh, nice effects. For example, the volume, panning, delay um, columns are also available. Uh, you can uh, add all the uh, typical effects: glide, slide, delay, note by ticks, vibrato. And there is a, a very uh, new, uh, strange command here. It's called the maybe trigger with a probability. So this uh, maybe triggers a new thing. Uh, this um, new trigger allows you to uh, let the tracker decide uh, if um, if one note uh, should be triggered or another. For example, uh, for example, trigger, trigger, trigger. In fact, on the line there are uh, probabilities that this sample will be played and this sample won't be played, you see. So, when I play it... In fact, this, uh, this command allows me to uh, uh, to define precisely if uh, uh, some notes should be played uh, and and some other notes sh uh, shouldn't be played, but it's a bit uh, it's a bit random. It's a probabilistic thing, and it's quite interesting because it adds some slight randomness to uh, the chords uh, mechanism inside the the tracker, and this is a uh, it could. Uh, bring some fresh air to compositions. You see? You see? Something is a bit random and probably it will humanize a bit the uh, the playback of some 
instruments it will it will add something that is a a bit more humanized and in real time so this new maybe uh, command is, uh, is a bliss because uh, we'll be able to make something realistic with that let's say also that the phrase editor is able to uh, the, the phrase editor uh, doesn't only uh, concern uh, uh, the whole keyword as uh, in this example you see that the phrase is recovering all the keys in all the virtual keyboard of Renoise 3 uh, uh, let's for example say that this this means that the phrase could only concern uh, only uh, a half of the keyboard and in fact you can add uh, more phrases you can insert more phrases you see so for example there is a new phrase that that just uh, that will be applied on the on the right side of the virtual keyboard so I can introduce new chords new notes new things here completely different so when I will play for example uh, uh, lower notes this is this is this will be this f f sequences of notes that will be chosen and, and if I play higher notes this is this is uh, this sequence that it, that will be com played instead of the previous one so you can split your keyboard in different sections uh, for example uh, this is interesting so you can see here that this new uh, uh, new phrase replaced the previous one you see and this is interesting because uh, theoretically you could just assign one phrase by note you could get uh, dozens of different phrases for just one instrument so it's very very powerful very powerful so let's delete this phrase because uh, it's not really uh, interesting to multiply and there is also something very interesting uh, next to the maybe new common you can also for example see that um, you can define a scale for the playback of the phrase so for example I'm pl I will play the, the phrase like that and I've got the, the right to choose another scale here for example So the playback uh, is somehow forced to follow uh, the natural mean or scale that is uh, here uh, described here. You see the, the notes that are automatically uh, allowed here in the natural mean or scale. You get more complex scale, pentatonic, minor, Egyptian pentatonic, for example. Uh, these are some scales that you don't know uh, you you can for example choose more uh, bizarre scales um, for example uh, seven tone scales for example um, this one for example so this scale mechanism will allow you to uh, to naturally uh, to naturally build some interesting uh, uh, interesting songs that follow the scale and strictly follow the scale so when you play in real time with instruments uh, that are fixed uh, to a scale uh, you can make uh, some mistakes and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because the the notes will automatically be uh, uh, driven to the appropriate scale in fact so if I play in blues manner whatever I do it will anyway uh, uh, be adapted to blues minor scale all the notes will be available and all the notes will follow the, the blues minor scale 
in fact, uh, uh, it's more interesting to to define the scale first, and after that you play live and you know that you won't make a mistake. It's uh, something that is a bit uh, uh, security during live playback. You can uh, define the quantization level for each sample if you really want the sample to to be quantized uh, precisely. You can define uh, the way it will be quantized. So this uh, quantization is also a good thing. And, uh, and then, uh, well, it, of course, there is a little bit of, uh, there is a problem because uh, each time you start a new uh, sequence here uh, the sequence uh, begins from the start example you see the the sequence is just doing things from the start uh, this is not a, a true uh, looping solution uh, I, I would like to say that, for example, if you want your your notes, you see, continue at this point, uh, there will be a little problem with the phrase editor uh, because it always starts. You see, you see, it starts each time you you hit a key, it starts again uh, and uh, I get a little problem with that uh, I, I would like to have a, an option to to let the, the loop continue like that and if you modify for example uh, here uh, the note uh, it modifies the note but not from the start you see uh, like some, I like to get something that continues continue and strange but I don't see how to do maybe so the only thing I found for that is to use the glide function here since it's supposed to behave like a sample so let's use glide you see so the rhythm is preserved but you get all this strange effects it's not really really clean uh, good sounding I would like the 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 glide would be instant in fact so with the help of this uh, uh, function here you get a better glide GF say the GF is far more efficient now that the old glide function that is a bit slow so if you want your if you want your phrase to continue to continue you see and you can use the the old glide function but warning it won't be very clean it won't be very clean the only way to make a clean transition and to keep the phrase as it is during the playback is to use the new glide feature gf here and as you can see as you can see you don't have to you don't have this uh, uh, boring mechanism of something that starts from the beginning so it really truly behaves like a like a looped sample with this uh, new common uh, there's a last thing I want to to show you uh, this is a problem of uh, transgating chords I mean that uh, uh, for example I made uh, I made a phrase, I made a phrase, a phrase like that, you see, a phrase like that, 
this the new sampler has no transgating mechanism inside uh, especially the phrase editor won't help you much so uh, there is a solution and I'm going to show you what it is there is a solution that is located somewhere else and this solution deals with uh, simply uh, the FX chain so you need to go in the FX chain for example uh, you need to uh, create a, a, a special FX chain uh, in this FX chain I will for example show you that you can add some uh, some effects like some effects like here this is a special LFO uh, in this LFO you can see that this is a custom LFO here this custom LFO has a BPM sensed series of peaks here volume peaks here and this LFO is focused on a subwoofer and in, in the subwoofer you get uh, a control of the gainer here and the control also of some other parameters you see to make it more sweet here so if I apply this kind of effect on the overall sound of uh, uh, the, the instruments it will produce a true transgating mechanism so for example I've recorded uh, an example of it so we start the example So, for example, I'm going to show you how it works. You see? This is a transgated section. The transgator applies its gating on the overall sound of all the chords altogether. So it's a true transgating system. So here it's not transgated at all, and now it's transgated.